Cecily of York, or Cecily Neville, as she was uh, known back in the 15th century, was the mother of kings, Edward IV and Richard III. She was the wife of Richard, Duke of York, uh, whose claim to the throne resulted in the Wars of the Roses. I just wanted to know more about her every time I, I read something in my research about Cecily. Uh, she just sounded like a very independent person. Um, she and her husband, Richard, seem to have had one of the great love stories in arranged marriages in the 15th century. They weren't very common to have um, a love match, but they happened to, to have had one, so that intrigued me. The balancing act of how much fact and how much fiction you put in, in, in a historical novel, obviously it is a novel, um, but I am very meticulous in, in my uh, research for the details, everything from the food, the costume. I use the skeleton of history, the history of the time, and the people who made that history. That's the skeleton of my books. But then what happens is I, I elaborate on that with dialogue and scenes. Um, and plus, the one thing I, I cannot start writing unless I have gone to the places where um, my characters have walked. So pretty much everything you read in my books, I will have walked those, that path. I, I know where my characters have been. They've looked out a window and seen that river, um, that forest. And um, that's when I, I really can picture um, what's going to happen in the book. I think what is so uh, interesting about Cecily is that she can resonate in today's time. Uh, she's got uh, independent spirit. She's very courageous. She has to weigh uh, being a wife and a mother uh, in a very uh, turbulent time but just like today where we're all trying to juggle families and um, husbands and ambitions uh, the women of the 15th century did the same thing only um, there were lots of battles and um, times when the husband was away fighting and she was taking care of the castle and the children and all the daily duties um, and they really had to be uh, a help meet to their to their husbands